my objective here is to build out a number of separate projects, put each of those separate projects in the library, and then bring all those projects down into a single composite project so that they can all be produced as a single video. The example used will be the building of a photo slideshow video. Off camera, I've built out my first project to help keep things organized when I built out the large project, I'm going to stick a marker at t equals zero. So I'll use the M key. And I'm just going to leave this at marker one for the time being. I could give it a name, but this will work until I get the entire project built. Next, I need to convert this timeline marker to a media marker. So let me do a little zoom in here and note the little green arrow underneath this marker. I'm going to click on the vertical green line here down on this JPEG. And what that did is it converted the timeline marker at this point in time to a media marker at this point in time. I have to do that because if I'm going to send this project to library, that's the only way I can make sure that the marker will survive a round trip through library. If you try to send a timeline marker to library, when you reload the project, that marker will be gone. I'll use Control F9 to redisplay the entire project. Then it's uh, Control Shift End key to select the entire project, right click, add to library, and I'm going to give this sequence a name called 01, enter key. Before proceeding to build out the next project, I'm going to test this library asset. So I'm going to command a new project, Alt F N key, no, I don't need to save the changes here. Then I'm going to right click on the project asset and add it back to the timeline. I'm going to pick the same aspect. Okay. And it's currently grouped. Control F9. And then I'm going to use Control U to ungroup what came out of library. And it looks like everything survived, including our marker. If I use Control M the markers there. So that project is good to go. Off camera, I've made the four separate projects from the four remaining photo collections that I intend to use in the final production. Again, after building each separate photo project, I sent each one to library. Next, I will select all five of the shorter projects, right click, and add them to the timeline at Playhead. I'll choose to use the same editing dimensions and aspect. Okay. Then I'll zoom out on the timeline, Control F9, so I can see the entire group project. Note that the numbers 01, 2, 3, 4, 5 correspond to the asset names that are in library, and also note that they were entered in the correct sort order. Next, I'm going to select everything on the timeline and use Control u to ungroup it. The gaps in the transitions here indicate the junctions between the different sub-projects. So what I'll do next is put the playhead right near there and do a little zoom in. And I need to drop a transition here, so we'll go to Transitions, grab a fade, bring him down, let him go. And I'll do that for the rest of the gaps in this project. Then I'll give the project a name if I haven't already done so, and let me go to the clip bin view. I'll use Control S to save it, and I'll just call this all photos, enter key, and then to preserve this project, I'll export it as a zip.